What's going on everybody Z here welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so today we're going to talk about getting your second ship of your living ship so what you have to do basically is you have to buy another void egg now for me personally was I just I just went to the anomaly and people were just dropping them in my inventory so I am currently about to hatch my second ship we have a third void egg ready to rock and roll so we're gonna talk about how to get your second ship how to get your third and so on and so forth but first let's go and check out what the second ship we have offered to us actually is now I have heard that the the colors depend upon the night sky of the of the planet that you're currently on so I can neither confirm nor deny that but that's what I've heard, so maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, I have no idea. I don't know what to expect here, but if you guys enjoy the episode, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more, and let's hop on into it. So, firstly, let's go check out this guy, and then we will talk about getting our next ship, and how I did it, and how I got it to trigger, essentially. Because I've been flying around, I've been trying to do the things and do the stuff, and getting this guy to hatch for a while, because I was like, I don't understand how to do this. So uh, we're going to hop on into that. But first, let's see what we got here. So if we're going to go based off of the night sky, I would say that this one is going to be... What would you guys say? Like a blue and green, maybe? I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's see what we have here. Now, keep in mind that if you do want a second ship, you are going to need 10,000 nanite clusters. Oh, it looks like it's a blue ship. What do we have here? what do we have here all right so this is our current one it is a green beauty <gasps> and we have this guy uh honestly not super uh not super mm, you know i'm gonna say uh i'm gonna say no thank you because i i don't now nah, let's reject that being that guy's gonna disappear we're gonna get it a void egg back and boom we're ready to go ready to rock and roll so how do you get that to actually trigger well for me what it took for me to do was actually hop to a new system. Now, you might be able to reload your save. You might be able to do that fun stuff, but I'm actually going to hop into the map. I'm going to reload. I'm going to go to a different uh, a different system here. I would like to go to a red star if I could. Is this one out of range? It's out of range. I'd like to go to a red star because I would like a black and red ish one. What about this one? That looks like a red star. Let's go there. So we're going to warp there first. First thing, now I don't know if it matters if you are going to a system you've already been to before. Um, I only got this to work on systems that I've never been to before. Now, I believe that if we're not mistaken, this should be a red star system. And what I'm essentially gonna do is I'm actually just going to shoot out into the nothingness and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast travel. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wait for something to pop in and say some kind of anomaly, rare anomaly, if you will, of an egg. And you'll see that I do now have two eggs back because I rejected the last one. So we're going to keep doing this. We're just going to keep going until I get something saying, hey, you have another ship that's ready to be born. So I got one. It's a hostile thing. Blah, 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 blah. Refuse that. Yep. They're going to shoot me. They're going to come after me. That's fine. We're going to destroy them. Super easy. Once I destroy them, I'm going to hop back into um, the pulse drive. And we're just going to continue on with our lives because these guys are not worth my time. All right, so those guys, super easy to defeat. Nothing super amazing going on there. Uh, we're going to continue pulse driving through this system, and we're going to see what we get next time. Because, I, like I said, I want a black and red one. Now, you could go through this multiple times to find the color or the, the variant type that you want, but I believe this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. I have spoken. This is the way. Hey, what do we got? What do we got? There it is. There it is. All right. So another egg hatch one void egg. Absolutely. It's going to send me some coordinates. All right. So where do we have the coordinates at now? I have no idea what type of ship this is going to be. There's multiple different types. Uh, where is it? Mission target is in another system. What? Hold on a second. What do you mean? It's in a different system. Okay. So I need to apparently go. <laughs> apparently I need to go here. So let's hop there real quick. That's super weird. Did not think it would bring me to a whole nother system. Now, what's nice about the living ships is that the, the faster than light drive or the, the hyperdrive, if you will, is super cheap, super cheap. Let's go ahead and skip that guy real quick. Okay, skip that guy real quick. Fantastic. Let's go into here. So the faster than the light drive right here is the Singularity Cortex. It's chromatic metal. 
and that's it that's that's all you need right now so we're gonna hop over to this guy we're gonna see what kind of ship we have what color scheme it is and hopefully it's maybe a black and red one i would like a red one that's what i'm saying now with the additional ships you are not guaranteed to my understanding of an s class because the ship that you do and the ship that you get through the missions is going to be an s class ship however the further the you know ships there for and there on are not necessarily s class if that makes sense all right so this is a red planet that would be good you definitely go for a black and red but i have no idea what we're gonna expect here in four seconds let's see what we have what do we have what color are you, you do not look like you are black and red good sir you do not look like you look like you're exactly set oh is that the albino one no hold on a second now what color are you it's hard to tell because on other planets oh night sky purple it's gonna be a purple color you know i kind of like it i kind of like it but it's still not it's not black and red it doesn't have the red black color scheme that i want so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead we're gonna select this guy we're gonna pass on it and we're gonna see if we can redo this reject this being thank you so much i'm sorry thank you but no thank you we're gonna hop out and we're gonna i'm gonna try warping around in the same system to see if it'll bring me a different color of the same type because i like i like the um the style or the model of the ship itself with the the multiple different little parts of it i i really like that but i just the color scheme i mean yeah come on the color scheme's not that great so we're gonna hop out here we're gonna see if we can't get another one to pop in and again it's just gonna be us pulsing around and kind of wait until we get an anomaly all right what do we have here we have another anomaly let's go ahead and accept communications let me see another egg hatch one void egg pretty much rinse wash repeat let's see where is our locate the fallen host it's probably on the planet we just left to be completely honest it is indeed so we're gonna hop back there we're gonna see if it's a different color if it's not we're going to head to a different system we're gonna warp to a different system kind of go from there all right what do we have here same color scheme same ship what do we got going on oh 20 seconds away so i'm gonna say from the the three or four times that i've done this is that it's gonna require you to do the pulse engine which is like kind of like the the faster travel not necessarily the uh the warping but fast travel for about 60 seconds before it'll it'll pop up the little new mission deal so what do we have here now we are in a storm so i'm not gonna be able to see it from a ways which is kind of unfortunate but what do we have here are you the same color as you were before you do not look like you're black and red that's for sure what is this one? Oh, a little bit different so this is not the one that has the arms on the sides i like the ones that have the arms on the sides i don't know what color this is exactly we are in a storm so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna say it's a purpley color though i'm gonna say it's a purpley color but we'll, we'll wait we'll wait and we'll wait for the storm to pass we'll kind of see what it clears up to be but i think it's gonna be a purpley color yeah so i i don't think so i don't think this is gonna be the one that we're gonna want so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna decline this bad boy as well i know it feels terrible it feels like we're rejecting a living being but it is what it is we're gonna hop in here i'm gonna warp to a different system because i feel like i got the co same color scheme that i got last time and i i would prefer a black and a red one all right so we have another one let's see what we have this time shall we another egg indeed so like i said i have i i warped to another system i pulsed engine for about 60 seconds ish and we'll go ahead and uh hatch this egg and see what we got so this one is also in a different system i hope it's not in the same system as it was last time <gasps> i think it is if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure i think that's the same system it was before we'll go check it out just to make sure but i think it's the same one all right what do we have here are you a black and red i doubt it because black and red obviously is the color scheme that i want which means it's not going to be the easiest to get uh where are you nope you're not quite it i'm sorry like i i don't feel like that's quite the one i want so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna reject that one now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna pulse away from uh we're gonna reject this one 
because these have all brought me to the same system. So I'm actually going to teleport. I'm going to go way away from this system because I think it keeps bringing me to the same planet, which is going to be, I feel like the same color scheme. I could be completely wrong, but I feel like uh, it seems like everyone so far has been the same color scheme. Oh, hold on. There's another one. Uh, do we check it out? We might as well, just in case, you know, that one only took about 30 seconds of pulse time. So is it going to be on the same planet? I bet. You oh, it's not. Okay. We'll check this one out. This one's not on the same planet, so it means that it would should be, in theory, a different color scheme. And what do we have here? Oh, you're looking almost exactly the same as the ship that I currently have. <laughs> now, it is dark, so it's hard to see, but okay, it is not a green one. And it looks as though it might be a, a black and gold color, which is actually kind of cool. But I honestly like it's it's still not it's not what I'm looking for. All right. So I warped through a space station into another system. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, apparently I have a base here. <laughs> I have no idea. I completely just selected one by random. I don't know what base this is exactly. But we're going to warp through here. Well, not warp. We're going to pulse through here. We're going to wait for an anomaly and we're going to see what kind of one we get this time. Ooh, object of interest. Oh, no, I don't want you, man. Like, I don't want to trade with you. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm waiting for other things. There we go. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, hold on a second. Void egg. Neuro assembly node class C. What is that? A moderate upgrade for the neural assembly. Use E to trigger node growth and begin the grafting process. Each node is genetically unique. Exact upgrade statistics are unknown. Improves take off efficiency. So this seems like a node that would be that would possibly increase the uh, the launch thruster fuel, essentially, if you will. Oh, that was cool. OK, so let's uh, let's pulse through here again. Now, I'm not getting a anomaly notification for another egg. Oh, hold on. What do we got here? What? Another void egg? What is this? A scream suppressor node. What? Hold on. What is going on here? How did we get two of these like immediately? A significant upgrade for the vessel's pain suppression systems. Significantly improves living ship strength to increase. So that's the shield nodes. What is going on here? How did we get two of these like immediately off the bat? Let's go ahead and put some of these into our uh, our invent. Oh, let's let's spawn our freighter in here and let's let's get rid of some of this stuff because I'm super curious now. That's extremely interesting to me because I can't believe we got two of them within such a short time frame. I've never seen them before ever. And then here we saw two immediately. So I believe since I actually warped here through a space station, I'm guessing that's what's actually causing me to not be able to get this mission to trigger. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump to another system. If I can find a system, I, I would prefer a red system that's within jump range to see if we can get this to work. Let's try this one. All right, so this is a cool looking system. I would love to see what kind of ship we would get off of this area. All right, what do we got? Okay, it looks as though we're gonna get another system. So you do have to warp. You have to warp to a different system and then get the notification. That is what has to happen. So it's gotta be on this planet because this is the only planet that we even have here. I'm pretty sure, oh, is it another system? Is it another system? Go figure. All right, what ship do we have here? Is it another standard? Oh, you look red. Oh, you look red. Oh, you look super red. <gasps> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I like this ship. So what I'm actually going to call in here is I'm going to, because I have my max ships like I have, I have max inventory ships. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna abandon the starter ship. I will abandon any other ship, though. <laughs> literally any other one, except for maybe the squid. <gasps> I really like that red. I really hope it stays red. So I'm gonna hop in here. Primary ship has been changed. I'm gonna hop into this guy and I'm gonna say absolutely. <gasps> oh my gosh. Confirm a synthesis. It is done. It is alive. That ship is no longer mine. That ship still is. Okay, so what do we have here? <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks black. Right? It's an S-Class. It is totally an S-Class. Okay, so compare it. Uh, this is the current ship. So let's just go ahead and transfer all of these over real quick. 
that looks great and we'll swap ship oh my gosh this one was cool that's my first one but come on oh it looks like it's black and red is it actually i want to take it out into space and i want to take it into the anomaly because the anomaly will show like the true color of it so let's see what we have here oh it looks like it's black and red come on yes 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 okay let me guess planetary interface okay let's get out of here <gasps> oh this is exactly what i wanted it's the same like a same amount of tendrils or whatever you want to call them all right i don't want the hostile scan i don't care i don't want to fight i want to go to the space anomaly and i want to check out my ship now this one doesn't have a three engine on the back it only has a single engine on the back but i don't really care because it's black and red i think it's black and red it looks black and red Let's get in here. Let's actually take a peek. It looks black and red, guys. It goes. This looks like it's it. <laughs> it is. Uh, okay, maybe it's more of a blue and red. Oh, but I love it so much. I love the red. This one's cool and all. But, oh, look at that. Oh, I like it. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. So... Uh, that took a void egg because, like I said, we went and hopped around and we did some other things. Look at that. Somebody's admiring the ship already. It is. Oh, my gosh. It is beautiful. Absolutely love it. So if you guys are curious on how to get your second ship, essentially what you have to do, the low down, the TLDR, if you guys couldn't pay attention to the whole video, is you have to warp to a different system. You have to actually warp in the ship or in whatever ship. And as long as you have an egg in your inventory, pulse around, which is like the faster version, uh, pulse around until you get the notification and oh, I like the hammerhead though Oh, if I could get a hammerhead in black and red, that'd be epic. I do like the hammerhead. Oh, but I love my red I love the red so much, but uh, that's all you have to do. You just kind of keep going through now Keep in mind you do have to have 10,000 nanites, but nanites are fairly easy to farm if you're using the, uh, the larval cores Which is what I typically use and then uh, as far as eggs go, honestly, like if you're hopping on and you just kind of hang out here at the Nexus, some people are using some kind of like cheats and stuff like that. I'm just saying. And they're kind of just handing out eggs. So that is absolutely epic. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. <gasps> oh, it looks so good. So I think with this one, we're probably going to put our upgrades on it because I really, really like this version. I really like this version. Now, I don't know what other color variants there are, um, but this one looks pretty much black and red. Like it, it looks like it might be kind of like an off, like a, a bluish color, but then you stand back and it's like, mm, is it black and red? Is it blue and red? I don't really know, but I love it nonetheless. But uh, yeah, we'll probably be working on upgrading this bad boy. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So thank you guys for coming out. Enjoy your rest of your week. You have a fantastic one and I will see you in the next episode.